Bra. So come, explore, discover, learn, and have fun. Yeah. Yes, from? Uh, Entebbe. Entebbe. Yes. And from which organization? Uh, Birds Lens Uganda. Okay. And I am very passionate about birds, so you can see the grey festival. Yeah. So we're talking about the African grey crown crane, and looking at conserving the crane uh, species in the continent. So I love birds. You should love birds and connect with nature and with God. God bless. You. Thank you. And then here also we are joined by. Hello, my name is Alan, the only guider from Langi. Bad <laughs> Asia. <laughs> and uh, as I speak right now, we are in Barara. Barara, so far, so far, so good. A lot of cranes, and we are. Conserving the cranes, educating the young generation yeah. to conserve the, the cranes. Thank you very much. Representing Badas Lens uh, and also representing uh, Ua and at the same time Iwek. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, and he is a, a bird expert. This guy can, can see a bird in the air and he tells you whether it has pooped or it's planning to poop. <laughs> so any queries about bird? He is the right person. Girls, hello. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Say hi. How are you? You're fine. Yeah, Baby, name? how are you? What is your name? Actually, a lot. So, who? Mm, study bad. Love bad. She wants to see what's there. Well, she can't say and you, what is your name? Uh, Beautiful girl? Kakunda. Kakunda who? Oh, you, you came to hike? You are in which class? You are in the middle class. And you? Baby class. Wow. So, you. Barara, the land of milk and honey. Wow. 360. When I'm standing on a hill, you see over there, all that is banana plantation. Look at that banana plantation. Look at that banana, 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 and this that that place which looks like serving a, a fence. They have natural fence. That's the place where animals graze. Just look at there. You can see goats. Look at this one. You can see cows. I don't know whether you can see them. You see the cows there? Look and at the this. <laughs> yeah, and the people. <laughs> and then over there is also banana plantation. Wow, this place looks really beautiful. And there are some, some trees. I'm just looking at them here for the first time. That tree. We don't have it in our place. And the locks, rocks are so amazing. Wow, beautiful. Good morning, internet. I'm still live in Barara City. Uh, it's been raining since yesterday, and even now it's still drizzling. Actually, uh, the truth is that Barara City is very, very cold uh, as compared to Kampala. Kampala has been very hot recently. Actually, if you live in Kampala, you should be knowing that Kampala is so, so, so hot. So I'm just from having my breakfast. It's about 9 a.m. now in the morning. So I'm going to meet my friends in the hotel where they slept. But uh, as we are going, let me continue showing you Barara City also in the morning. Do not forget to like this video, share, and then subscribe. My name is Jabwell. So I was told that they are in the Amazon house. Let me first go and check them. What is what? Amazon house. Yeah? So guys, we are right here in the deep part of Barara village. And it's so, so wonderful. These guys are 
these guys are entrepreneurs let me try to zoom in that that those are all banana plantations i think when we are going back i'm going to try to show you around these guys are really entrepreneurs banana plantations cattle keeping i think this particular place here is used for raising cattle so when the right now i think they have left the grass to grow because the cattle is grazing in another another farm so when the grass is done from the other they will bring them here these guys are really really entrepreneurs i really i hope you enjoy these expeditions as we continue so guys i didn't come here alone we came here with Cedric Ahaisizu. Say hi to my audience. <laughs> okay, guys, we are in Mbarara, Lubuya sub country. County. Lubuya County. And, guys, here people are into banana plantation. As you can see over there, mass huge chunks of bananas. Here, this side, there's cattle. Cows are having fun, they're having their lunch, grazing, then down just before me, there are goats here. Guys, man, this place has ambience, eh? you can see the flat leaf varies, the hills are quite interesting. And you can see over here, there's some gentleman, young man, having, how can you call it, grazing goats. Mm. Guys, man, this place is worth visiting, come and have fun. Guys, we are here enjoying it. Eh? Thank you. And then also we are here with Sharma. Ah, yes, that's. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> yeah, he is a photographer from Tinda Kampala. Explore Uganda. Explore Uganda. Explore Uganda. Here we are doing the climb challenge. The holes, the locks. Although the terrain is not favorable. Just come in, come in. And and and, and also we have we have Max Blessed. Alright. So the terrain is not favorable. So when you are going, you need to be conscious sure that step you make so that you can't slide and find yourself down. <laughs> so we are here having fun, trying to challenge the locks, so although they are bit challenging, eh? But you need to dehydrate yourself with water. That's why I have my own. Yeah. And we are also having here a very beautiful madam by the names of Aleni. Aleni. Alen Kato. From Uganda Experience Safaris in U Tebe. Uganda Experience Safaris. Yeah. So all everybody here is 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 always safari explorer. You have the background here. You said I was taking. And here we are joined Hi. by. Hello, I'm Blessed Isaac Olupot and all social media platforms. It's really, really exciting to be here in Mbarara. So, come, explore, discover, learn, and have fun. Blessed yeah. Isaac Olupot. Yes, from? Uh, Entebbe. Entebbe. Yes. And from which organization? Uh, Birders Lens Uganda. Okay. And I am very passionate about birds, so you can see the grey festival yeah so we're talking about the african the red crown crane and looking at conserving the crane uh, species in the continent so i love birds you should love birds and connect with nature and with god god bless you thank you and then here also we are joined by hello my name is alan the only guider from Langi. Bad yes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, no as I speak right now, we are in Mbarara. Mbarara, so far, so far, so good. A lot of cranes, and we are conserving the cranes, educating the young generation to conserve the cranes. Thank you very much. Representing Bada's lens, uh, and also representing uh, Ua, and at the same time, Iwek. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he is a, a bad expert. This guy can <laughs> can see a bird in the air and he tells you whether it has pooped or it's planning to poop. <laughs> <laughs> so any queries about bird, he is the right person. Thank you. <laughs> As for now, we are keeping, we are sipping, we are enjoying, having fun. 
and then over this side we are joined in by whoa the man himself <laughs> the man himself the man from the east i'm the engineer but sorry today we are not in the engineering say, sector today i'm now like the tourist so i'm having my guide over up there alan but yes uh, i'm glad he took me through some of the things around i'm happy sorry i'm uh, by the name is Kato james bryan working with uganda experience safaris as the general manager um i'm so glad to be here i was joined by a good friend of mine mr isaac there he's really been Hi. so great on taking me through on to how to know birds better because he's a good butter and really i'm i'm sure by the time i leave barara i'll be another bird. Thank, <laughs> thank you for viewing I salute out. You're welcome. Actually, if you're wondering why everybody is talking about bad, 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 we are in Barara to celebrate the uh, grey crown crane. The grey crown crane. crane. So in Africa, we have uh, two species. There's the grey crown crane, then there's the black crown crane. And the most common is the grey crown crane, though the population is declining badly. So the purpose of this crane festival uh, that was organized by the ministry together with her partners like uh, the Interest Wildlife uh, Foundation and the International Crane Foundation is just to sensitize and also promote the conservation of this bird because the grey crown crane is our national bird it represents who we are who is a ugandan everything about you know about uganda is in that bird so uh we encourage you when you see one please don't keep them at home leave them in their habitat they play a very important role in the ecosystem so uh come travel come and travel with us Badders lens and come and learn more about birds and wildlife and enjoy Uganda. Yeah. and then that if you're wondering that exactly where you can see there the the t-shirt i actually did it and uh, if you want uh, branding stuff and everything please Use the shirt yeah i'm i'm actually going to leave his contact details on the description below you can check him out Hi. so we are still experiencing this beautiful place here in Imbarara, the place looks so beautiful 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 as you see i am actually amazed by the kinds of herbs or shrubs i don't know which i'm seeing them here <coughs> oh <laughs> before i introduce somebody i don't even know who can identify this these ones eh -eh? see and it is soft yeah, it's, it's a herb. You know the name? In losing weight, eh? Wow, someone just said this is a herb and it helps in losing weight. It has a thorn, I think, to prevent uh, animals from eating it. Wow. So this is also a way of protecting itself from predators. It is, and it's very sharp. And then over here, we are also joined in by Priscilla. Very tired. I'm from hiking up to here. I'm so tired, very thirsty. I can't even tell. There is water behind <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> How did you get the experience of hiking? Oh, very tired. And what is this your first time in Barara? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so you and the first time to hike. Okay. Okay. Not really, not really. Uh -huh. you did so Uganda you're from Explore uh, Uganda? I did, I did Kagul okay, in Busoga, mm -hmm. and uh, is it Sabi? Sabinyo. Sabinyo in Bunyoro. Mm -hmm. yes. ah. No. Kibinzu. <laughs> no. Mansion Hill. No. no. Oh, only those. Only those? Yes. So you're going for the seven days hike of Mount Renzori? Of course. So when is the Mount Renzori trip? Uh, it's probably going to happen in uh, September. Yes. Around 27th. Around 27th. It's organized by? Uh, there's a gentleman called Zuma. Yeah. Mm. Also under hey, the trekkers. 
Is it friend. also sponsored? Uh, no. Hi, I'm blessed. It's I've got the court and negotiations are still happening. Yeah. But now, yeah. what we, we need is to instill the, 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 the equipment, uh, mm. to secure the equipment, because <laughs> these are most challenging <laughs> elements. Together we going have high. We have to get those equipment. Oh. The jungle boots, the gear jackets, uh, the heavy jackets. Guys. Water Trust. like her. So without uh, this, you the can't whole finish. Purpose of this Stop. Activity. Yeah. Yeah. You need to keep the height weight in your soul. And when talks, but we shall keep it posted. Wow. And then this, you are also hiking. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did because I missed the second <coughs> wristband. Wow. See, eh? I don't know. Do you know that? Do you know how they call yeah, this this thing? This time round, actually. Get Do you know how the how they call this this I thing? Think you you don't need mm -hmm. to wait for those people to set off because mm -hmm. at times mm -hmm. we've got when we find those people coming back. Wow, this place looks beautiful. Wow. Sorry. Is this uh, is this plant come on here? This one. It's come on because you see Others are down there. It's not one. And what is the name of it? What is its I name? I think it belongs in a family called Shrubs, but I don't know the basic <laughs> name. <laughs> like the family. <laughs> but it belongs in a family of Shrubs. <laughs> but they are common in savannah parks <laughs> or savannah what? open what? places. What tree is that? I don't know. Uh, sure. Have you ever come here? <laughs> <coughs> it does belong to the Acacia family. It does belong to Acacia family. family. Sorry, cactus. Cactus uh, that family. Tree does belong in the cactus family. They are so good for storing water during the dry season. Uh, normally, you can see it, but it has actually water inside it down. It holds water in the ground. Oh. So that is one thing I know about it. I don't know about. It. Oh, that's why it likes growing in the rocky, rocky areas. Not only mountain areas, they're also found in. Uh, you can find them uh, in Uganda. You can find them. Yeah, you can find them mostly in the mountain areas. Elgon, normally when you do the hiking, like what you are doing right now. Even in Zori, you can get them there. Tropics. Wow. Alan, did you get a close up of the training? No. <laughs> Mentioning there is a fish pond here. Just look at that. People here, they are so innovative. Look at all this. That particular part there is for grazing, for grazing cows. So when when the grass from that area is over, there's some sort of thing which looks like a, a fence. They take it to the other side. And then the other side and then when you look at all these areas is banana plantation banana plantation that over there is maize that is calantus and then there is a fish pond over there these people are so innovative they have great minds of entrepreneurship which makes the place so good like I don't think these people can starve. Food is everywhere. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this. I love this. This is beauty. This is perfect. And I, the problem is my camera may not show you the best, but if you can look at right from that area like this, you will realize that everything here is done in a commercial way when you look at banana plantation if you look at this fish pond you look at the the calyptus what calantus common known just here yeah calyptus trees you look at the grazing of cattle goats 
all of them they are done in a commercial way. You are not going to see one cow. You will see like 20, 30 to 40 to 100. Just look at the other one. There are more than 10 cattle. Look at this banana plantation. Look at this one. Look at that. They are all done in a commercial way. This is beautiful. Very, very good. Blessed pray. On God of arms you appear. On Parliamenta a building you are there. On Uganda national flag you stand in the middle. With feathers adorned in hues of gold. With a slender neck held high. You dance on white lands, proud and free. You proudly stand. A symbol of beauty in this part of your lands. Dear fellow Ugandans, in recent years, the population of crested cranes has decreased. Ugandans, there is a need to protect the cranes. The crested crane is Uganda's national emblem. The cranes generate income through tours. The state house, organizations like NEMA, Wildlife, National Forestry Authority, prisons, Uganda police and leaders. Let's work hand in hand to protect the cranes. So, Safeguard the environment, let it be free. Let's protect the beauty of our environment. Let's embrace the sustainable ways of conserving resources by planting trees, nurturing the land, and protecting habitats. Ugandans, let's protect the habitats of crested plains, the forests and swamps. For God and my country. Wow. 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 W